So here we are at Jupiter. Inside the topless uh, base is the Serpentine Sisters. And uh, they're, the one, they're like, oh yeah, we sent uh, Nicola and he sent us uh, good data. And they're named after uh, Lecoultre and uh, Piaget watches. And they're like, oh yeah, and that, oh and the Buster Machine. What we've got to do now is um, awaken it and steal its power, and then we won't have to feast on a Jupiter crab any longer because they've been eating the thing in the middle of Jupiter because they're fucking bullshit. <laughs> As they giggle. Time. But they're uh, they're awful and definitely evil, like a hundred and ten fucking percent. So here we are, we're at Mars, this is where Uther lost and we sealed Asakim away here at the zone on Mars. It's offline, which you'd expect because Asakim is out, but who the hell would have unleashed Asakim and why? Here's the Ark Sabers and they show up and it's like, hey dudes, who the Fuck let that guy out. Yeah, hey, it's the Oxabers of it's well. And they're like, come in, we're just in the area. Come check out. Come hang out with Islam. He was a rad dude. He's like, come uh, hang out. So they're gonna take us to their cool base and give us some hospitality and it's like Uthu was a good dude and all of his people were good dudes. And the Ark Sabers just go, yeah, we like considered that all just fucking killing ourselves once we realized we'd been part of the bullshit with like we'd been lied to by everybody but uh marguerite managed to convince us not to and honor the prince's memory by doing good deeds and it's like where the heck is marguerite and he's like oh yeah she just sort of headed to earth and we haven't been able to get in touch with her since then They've had their hands full with an enemy of their own on Mars. Uh, ever since the time prison ended and the university reached a new level of mixed up bullshit, there's been the new enemies, the Meganoids! Which has stalemated them until an unknown party, you know, cloaked in magnetic storm, destroyed the Meganoid base. Uh, that's, around that point, someone made it past the guards around the zone and freed the prisoner of Askim. And the Ark Sabers are like, yeah, you can investigate it all you want. Because uh, Asakim is the one who killed our sweet king. And like, was it, was it Sidereal? And he's like, mm, maybe. Mega annoyed. This is really good just because all of fucking Daitan happened off screen. <laughs> it's fucked up. You like Utha. You were an alright dude. So here's uh, Shiku who's visiting where the Meganoid base uh, once stood. And there's a mysterious person who's like, What are you doing here? And he's like, I'm just here to confirm that the Chrono Progressives uh, there are truly fucking murdered. And he finds Banjo and uh, his dad was part of the Chrono Progressives and he tells him the story of his father attempting to accelerate evolution by creating a new strain of humanity, the Meganoids, but they all had fucking massive egos. And for that he sacrificed his own wife and son and Banjo has repaid that mad science in full. Off screen where he just fucking murdered them all. Okay, if space noid equals in space and earth noid lives on earth, uh, mecha noid lives on mecha sex, I don't know, I mean, they're big. But, I guess... We've still got a die down half an off screen, but Banjo and Shiku are here, they're like light and shadow, because he's the man of the sun, and Shiku's like, I'm the hell dude. I'm the heaven man. But they've heard of each other, and uh, Banjo also knows that Chrono was backed by Sidereal. And he swears by the red soil of this planet that Sidereal are going down for all they've done. And Shiki's like, wow, that's fucking harsh, dude. 
I just want to hang out. I just want to hang out and send people to heaven. And then this is Mars Encounter. Mars Encounter. Uh, yeah, we'll launch the Gundam. Ba -ba 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 So the zone, whew, still imposing up this close, and it's a uh, testament to a, a power, the dimensional energy that can be a lifesaver or a life stealer, depending on how it's used. And uh, that's a metaphor for us, if you think about it. <laughs> the Marina and Kess giving each other shit. That's right, Chonaro. It's good shit. Powerful. What about you, Hibiki? And Hibiki's just like, mm. Hibiki, Hibiki, what are you doing, Hibiki? Hey, Hibiki, what's up? He's like, it's just, no, I'm just stretching out with my feelings, trying to figure out what happened here. And then he asks Susan for a second opinion. She's like, sorry, my danger senses don't seem to be working lately. Maybe it's uh, all the positivity you've uh, given me, which is what she says there on the second line uh, positivity. He's like, yeah, you made me too happy to be useful. It's like, wow, the wicked sisters there really had a good effect on each other. I wonder if they're gonna fuck yet. <laughs> and then the Alda's like, yeah, and you instilled a lot of positivity and fucking rancor I bet. He's like, fuck you, they do shit. But they all get mad. And then Osman tells him to step in line because side are coming. Ba -ba 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 bang! Oh, good, and there's uh, Shikoku. Rin was ready to throw down, but unfortunately we're here at the zone. Uh, Shikoku shows up and she's like, Congratulations on returning to Earth. I'll fight, uh, and she's like, I'll fight you while I'm in the neighborhood. It's a giant crab. Shh. No, no, please, I don't. But she's as deadpan as her, as her brother. And she won't elaborate on the deal. And she just says, If uh, we manage to stir some emotion in her or her commander's heart, she'd be uh, much gladder for it. Sidril, you're going down. Please, make me feel anything. Attack Sidril, they're full of shit. He's nearly there, though. Uh, dynamite explosion again, because... Zek still isn't here and it sucks! I don't think she... It's a bee. She can kill a bee, right? I believe in you, Marita. I believe you can kill a fucking bee. So don't let me down. Zex is... Uh, Zex and all the wing boys are off rescuing Sasuke and being good friends. <laughs> Instead of being shitlords and leaving him to die. It's the wing boys... Big O, Gius, uh, Daitan 3, until now. Uh, Full Metal Panic, August, and Bottoms. Well, she couldn't kill a bee. Only barely, though. You don't do that one, that lady. It's bad of you. Not even change. Wait, was... and she got the thing? I don't remember if she was done or not. Okay, yeah, they're both done. Fuck them, then. Mm, you know what? He's ace now. So, uh... I guess that means it's fucking... 
time to suck. Gum mode. Starting with this shit again. Trash. You can't even fucking help. Go, go get him, Nige. Go get him. Oh, even Far can almost kill a nerd. Fuck. garbage. Howdy, Tail Saga, how you doing? Fucking Barry Burton Jigen over here. No one can kill a fucking bee? No one can kill a bee? You shitting me? Fine, I'm fucking done. Fuck. I'm not going that deep without focus though, fuck that. No one can kill a bee. And then these guys with their plus 10% damage are gonna tear it up. Not gonna tear it up very quickly though. Well. Someone killed the bee. Why is Shai using the internet? Yeah, let me know. You have a friend who played the game and refuses to use Kira, Shin, and Riddy unless it was a full. I can understand Riddy. 
But Kira and Shin are like actually really good, but also I can I also understand like not wanting to touch them with a fucking pole. Why does the shark fly a red mech in Zeta? Because he's out of shark Yeah, I can understand destiny fatigue. I give the Z series a pass because that's where they like fixed it and stopped it being ultra shitty. Meanwhile, Amro's killing bees as a fucking side effect. Pure collateral. Because Shin and Kira are like super important on the um, on Sepsiko's route. Like Shin is a huge fucking deal on it, and her fixing his character is serious shit. And then they've just got to, they've just been allowed to stay. Which makes sense, like, considering Shin and Setsuko's relationship. That's what great. You really want to be greedy on that one, buddy? Watch as he doesn't kill the guy now. <laughs> I'm a man I'm used to this. this. It's a fucking robot B! How does being a manhunter help you? Fucking ass. Well, he tried with the barrier. Pretty 
pretty much what I thought was going to happen. Okay, I'll get this bomb. What is on the case? Couldn't put a hole in ya. From one to why god, how hard is it to ace all the evil pilots? The sword ones have the advantage of post movement attacks, but they don't have an all attack, so it takes them a long fucking time. Whereas the gun ones at least have four bye bye missiles to work with. But it is definitely a multiple playthrough thing. And you can only put the initial launchers in the simulator. Like you can only put a Mata, um, Cayenne, and Zeska um, in the simulator to get them kills and PP and stuff. Whereas in Z2, you could put. All the, like whichever Aquarian guys you didn't deploy, but in this game, like you're not locked out of moves because of who you deploy. Like you have all of them all the time. Hyper Mega Launcher, good. ガンダム。Say a lot about seed and seed destiny. But the music being bad ain't one of them. Psycho frame, even better. Mhm, mm mhm, mm mhm. Gundam no hanashi wa kiite iru. Hazushi tsumori wa nai. Utsuwa no chisa de bare. No mama no kogeki da na. Saiden straight forward attack won't get me. Sokoda. 
感じで終わりだガンダムの話は聞いている門はすでに開いたもう僕の前には現れないでください返してくださいよみんなの地球を行けフェグワラレットフェグワラレットワンセクトしずつ押されてあっ、ウィッチの命の灯火が見える。行き先。I am a grim leaper, I am a death spirit. Like he said, Shinagami. She's like, I'm a death spirit. I am the specter of death. I think all of the Gundam guys also have more visible upgrades. Like Die Guard and um, Trider and um, Zambot, it was all just, oh yeah, like your move is just more powerful now. Like, no change or anything, whereas I think all the Gundam guys, they do get... Like, this guy gets new legs, I believe. He gets the big booster. Maybe he really likes apples. No! That's not this dimension. Get countered by Kira. Sparkle Japan man, he's gonna get ya. I don't like this. It's not nah. Then I don't like the strike freedom. It's too strong. I prefer the regular freedom. The the full strike freedom is a bit much for me. But on the other hand, I also like all the astrays, so I'm full of shit. Full of blazing life. <laughs> Cats is not getting the elephant, Far's getting the elephant. Or maybe Hathaway, fuck it. It's like, uh oh, incoming! It's a dude! Plonk! So, how were the Meganoids? It's like, eh, alright. So he arrives like, my mission was already done for me. It's like, hey, Shiku! Fuck you! The only one, fight a stupid crab. And everybody hates this dude and doesn't like that, whatever. And uh, he tells Tsubiki he'll give him three minutes of his time. And the SR point is lower him below 50,000. And unfortunately, these guys oh, can't do the bounce.
best I can do is dot to get love heart and hope that somehow gets her uh, from 143 to 170. By the way, it's fucking not. So, uh, yeah, Conroy, you helped. So now I gotta kill ten nerds. I can go in the sky if I want, but I mean. Missiles. What are these ones up to? I didn't get them. Yeah, there's lots of shit that was cut, like a hundred percent. That was like a like, hundred. Like, there's all the portraits of the guys at the end. Like Luna has an attack animation on Shin, where it's just all her and it even has a dynamic kill where she's like hell yeah I'm cool and shit's just floating in the background going hey hell and they mention in C1 all that way away he's like oh like uh, the Edel Burnell is like hey better be careful bright or you're gonna suffer the worst fate a parent can have and he's like what are you talking about and then AG in 3-1 is like oh you avoided it when you um do something with Hathaway. And then it just never fucking happened. Just didn't do shit. Uh, no, that's fine actually, fuck it. And they'll focus attack this guy and kill him. And get a bop. And then old Patrick Smash will come in. And do the same. But yeah, no Kasi. Like, the Akatsuki shows up. Which would be fucking rad. Because you haven't seen the, the Luna Maria. Let's uh, get it on. This one. That's it. He'll fucking die if I don't do this, so. Let's get on the ground, too, why not? I'm pretty sure it's that one. Aaron Dye falls. Yeah, so it's got to be that. <laughs> You'd think it'd need the Penelope, but Amaro's had the new since before it was fucking invented. And he's up. Useless. And he's upgraded to it like 70 million fucking times. Five times he's upgraded to it? Despite having it for a minute one. And the fact that that move's called something combination one means either as an upgrade later on he's getting whatever combination two, or that was going to be more bullshit. There was going to be more shit that was cut.
I really wanted to see you again, Shiku. Your <laughs> fucking well, darling. Your passion and heat smile didn't even make him flinch. On the flip side, that always turns me into putty. Wow, Mel's happy-go-lucky stick didn't fly either. You two are pleasant. Oh, we got a reaction? No. Ooh, just you wait! Next time I'll be bringing some new jokes to throw at you! That's not really what's going on here, Mel. I've no time for your antics. <laughs> Red and Mel are good. It would have been good if you got the new high weapon system, right? What are you trying to do? Space sucks, but you're a crab. Maybe now that Tarada's not a minute we might get the high new, but it's also the dude who animates its favorite Gundam, which so uh, that's why he gets all the budget. You know what? We won't do that just yet. We'll stand here so he can defend. And we'll fuck up these guys. And then we'll do his... Um, hyper launcher. No, it's like the long rifle. Yeah, we do the long rifle and his uh, hyper mega bazooka launcher thingy. Well, he's got the actual one, but he doesn't fly in and ride it around like Chai used to. He's just shitty. He walks up to it like a fucking nerd. Get in there, get in there, Bob Wise. Imaginative enough to come up with the Zeta? Ah, I see. But not imaginative enough to wiggle the funnels around good. about Gundams. Need to get everybody over to deal with the dipshit.
you use crap ride, it's fucked up. Don't know if you guys know, but it's fucked up. Kira doesn't even have break wall limit, let alone hit and away. Fuck me. Get him far. Got a goddamn Spec Ops Jigen. And there's nothing better for cats other than the result. It sucks. You don't even get two results this time. You used to have a million of them. This game, only one. Gundam Haruto! Okay, she's fucked off. Sorry, Shiku, I have failed you. Goodbye. He's like, wow, you don't even like that when we beat up your woman, and this is where we find out. He's like, sister? Wait! You know what, girlfriends? What would make you think that? Jeez, this fucking guy here and human. There we go, that's what I was waiting for. Exactly fucking that. We'll give him the old. <laughs> the news cats on a stage that includes videos. It's really fucked up when he talks shit about anybody else and need to keep their shit together. Cause he died because a rock fell on him in fucking space. Finishing move. Basta home run. Plopped him. Something's got you worried, Shiku. Yeah, it's fucking full of shit. Something bad's coming. So Hibiki starts to move away, and he's like, "No, sorry, buddy. Wow, teleports over here." He's like, "You could teleport," and then he says, um third stage. She just tricks uh, nothing for a true third stage sphere reactor. But uh, Hibiki Tankawa, I believe you could reach to the, this level if given enough time. However, circumstances no longer permit that. And then he says that I will not allow him to have your sphere. So, but then he tells Hibiki not to resist if he doesn't want this to hurt. And Suzanne does her angry face. Angry face. Oh, 
抗うな死でのもんだ Nemo's are fucking bad, but we don't have one, so you can't put him in it. Tabidate, Ayumi. Tareo Yaraseruaki, you are you can I? Forever. And it's Advent, he's not fucking dead. Murio Kodana, Kanashi Hodoni. How you doing, Hibiki? Glad to see me? Admin? Not really! Wait, Ad Admin's alive? But we thought you died! He's like, ah, don't worry about it, Tim's to go around, I'm good. And he's got ice skin with him. Shiroga! Ask like him! He's like, howdy! I was just pretending to be dead. Wait, ask him and Advent working together? Who let him out the zone? Advent? Ah, oh, Hibiki, it was me! I did it! Advent. And Ask him's like, Ugh. Laugh at me if you wish. I'm a garbage dog. <laughs> and Hibiki is sort of hesitant to follow Advent's lead on this one. But before Ashiku can exploit this, Yo! The light of the sun. Light on three. Oh, fuck you up! And, uh. Advent doesn't like him. Like, ah, banjo. Like, how did you do? Thanks to, like, I did the mega noise, you came check on him, but side roll a bunch of fuckers. Wait a minute. The mega noids are all gone now, banjo? You knew about him? Yeah, Diton's one, don't worry about it. Well, glad to see you back, banjo. Wait a. This. B banjo? It's like, yeah, he's a cool dude, he's uh, super rich, he's like James Bond, but also a robot maybe? Well, definitely, he's cool. <laughs> so he comes over and he's like, howdy. I'll support you, Hibiki. No, he's, no, he's like, you support me, you offer some double team? Uh, it's quite a shock. And it's not going to go easy, but I'll look after you, kid. Alright. And then Advent is like, ah, oh, Shiku, looks like you're fucked. Come stands over here. Shiku gets back into position. And then Ad Advent's like, so, Zibu, me and Asakim, here we are, we're only here to fight Zibu. What is it you want, Advent? He's like, you fucking did Asakim down, he sucks. And he's like, two options, kids, trust me or shoot me. And I was like, yeah. And Sha is like, that's not really much of a choice because we've got to deal with Shiku right now, not you. So, piss off. And Askim's like, <laughs> what are you laughing at, Askim? He's like, no worries. You